So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your iPad as a second monitor for your Mac. Whether you just want more screen space for multitasking, browsing, or working on documents, or just to have a more flexible setup, this is a really easy and useful trick to know. Now, before we jump in, there's a few things you'll need to check to make sure this is going to work for you. First, you're going to need to make sure both your Mac and your iPad support Sidecar. You can see here the system requirements for your devices. So pause if you need to check to see if your Mac and your iPad are compatible. If your devices are compatible, next you'll wanna make sure they are both signed into the same Apple ID, have Bluetooth turned on, and are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. If you are using Mac Ventura or later, you'll find these settings in system settings. Once you have confirmed compatibility, here's how you get it set up. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this. The first way is going up to the little Apple symbol and going to system settings. And then under system settings, we wanna to go to displays. And then in display, you see this little plus and arrow here. We're just gonna click the arrow and you can see my iPad is in here under mirror or extend to, and we wanna click on Sam's iPad Pro. And so you can see now my iPad Pro has connected and it's connected over here but my iPad is on the wrong side. So it's connected straight away, but my mouse isn't moving across to the iPad screen. So I'm just going to rearrange my screen. And so now my iPad's sitting on the correct side. If you click on your iPad, you will get a few more settings. So you can see here, you can either extend the display, which makes it into like a second monitor or you can mirror your laptop's monitor. So you can see the exact same thing on each display, but we're gonna do extend display. And then we have the disconnect button if you wanna disconnect your iPad from your laptop. So that's the first way you can do it. So we'll just go disconnect. And the second way, which is a lot easier, is just coming up to this menu bar up here and then going to screen mirroring and you can see my iPad right here. Just click on that and then it automatically connects and then you have a few of your settings in here or you can click on display settings to get back into this screen and adjust anything in here. Now, one thing I've noticed when using my iPad as a second display is that it can drain my MacBook and my iPad's batteries pretty quickly, especially during long work sessions. That's where the Inu Cougar P64 comes in. It's a mini powerhouse with a massive 25,000 milliamp capacity and 140 watt fast charging. In my testing, I charge my MacBook Pro M3 Pro from 11% to 50% in just 22 minutes. Honestly, that is really fast for a power bank. It means I can get one full charge from my MacBook Pro, two full charges from my iPad Pro M4, or around five charges from my iPhone 16 Pro before I need to recharge the power bank. Plus it has a real-time digital display so I can always see exactly how much power is left. And it also shows the watt output, which is super handy for tracking how quickly it's charging my devices. It's airline approved, making it perfect for travel. And with Inu's three year care guarantee, you're getting a top tier product with amazing customer service. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. And thank you to Inu for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. If you want a more responsive and stable connection, you also have the option of using a USB-C cable. Although a wireless connection seems to work pretty well for me, if you are experiencing any lag, you can try using a wired connection. This can sometimes be helpful for those more demanding tasks. It's recommended to use a high quality USB-C cable for this, preferably the one that came with your iPad, or just make sure it's a USB-C to USB-C cable or a USB-C to lightning cable for older iPads. And make sure that it supports both charging and data transfer. To set this up, all you need to do is connect the USB-C cable to one of your Mac's USB-C ports, and then the other end to your iPad. Now that your iPad is set up as a second monitor, let's go over a few settings. If you go to system settings, then displays, you can adjust the position of your iPad relative to your Mac. This is helpful for making your mouse move between the screens more naturally. On your iPad, you'll now see a sidebar with shortcuts. 
If you don't want this visible all the time, you can hide this by going into system settings, then display on your Mac and unchecking show sidebar. To bring it back, just go back to the same setting and re-enable it. One of the best things about using your iPad as a second display is that you can use your Apple Pencil with Mac apps. This is great for sketching, making annotations, or even editing photos in apps like Photoshop. Just open an app that supports stylus input and the iPad will work like a graphics tablet. If Sidecar isn't working for you, here's a few things you can check. Make sure both devices are updated to the latest Mac OS and iPad OS versions. Confirm that Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and handoff are enabled. Try restarting both devices if your iPad isn't showing up in the display options. And if you're having any troubles when you're using a wide connection, you could try using a different USB-C port on your Mac, or you can also try using a different USB-C cable just to rule out any issues with that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.